Hey guys, Bill here. In March of 2011, a massive 9.1 earthquake struck just off the coast of Japan. The quake created a tsunami that was so massive, it nearly wiped out dozens of coastal towns and killed over 16,000 people. The massive wall of water uprooted homes, businesses, schools, automobiles, buses, trains, and just about anything you can imagine. But according to some people, it also uprooted unknown creatures from the spirit world. This video, posted in numerous places around the internet, claims to show a strange, unidentified creature emerging from the water and flying up over a building. It was submitted by Rob Clark, Sheila Mendez, and Grinchy Izzy, just to name a few of the many people who sent this in. Grinchy Izzy wrote, Hey Bill, I just watched this strange video and I want to know whether it's real or fake. A quick search of Google revealed hundreds of reports about this strange video, but no one, including Snopes.com, had examined it as a possible hoax. I knew this was going to be a tough one, so I got in touch with the best A-team members I know, including Steve from YouTube channel Experimental and Kyle Darkova. I also got in touch with Thinker Thunker, who's an animator that uses CGI software to examine paranormal videos. Steve examined the footage first and concluded it was just smoke coming from a bottle of natural gas that was ruptured during the event. Thinker Thunker, however, did not totally agree with Steve. He accepted the fact that it did look like a gas. But then why would the gas want to gather at this one little spot right here by this hut? See, we can see the tail of it. It's still being sprayed out from the water, and yet, yet it just wants to stick right there on that little hut. And I'll just scrub back and forth and let you see that. And then it breaks off from the water and it, it appears to climb up and then just vanish. Thinker Thunker also performed what is known as a relief examination. This is done to find out if the creature has been artificially superimposed over the video. Here's the white object floating by and starting right there, you see it spraying the gas. And Bill, if this were CGI, or if this, if this was something, if, if the smoke here was something superimposed, I feel like we would be seeing hard edges, you know, pixelization. And if you watch that closely, you see, you see it's, it's billowy. So there you go, Bill. I don't have the slightest idea now. I mean, it looks like a gas but it doesn't behave like a gas. So you tell me, Bill, what is this? Hmm, this is a tough one. I mean, we have something that looks like an ordinary vapor, but then again, it also seems to have a life of its own. Thanks to some excellent detective work by Kyle Darkova, we learned the man who shot the video is Kenichi Murakami. It was shot in Kinsanuma City next to the Okawa River. We knew a tsunami was coming. We could feel it. Kenichi started recording his video next to the river, but as the water rose, he sought higher ground. I was heading to the emergency staircase at the school. Before heading to the school, however, his camera captured a different angle of the building where the unidentified creature was supposedly caught on camera. This different angle really helps to explain what's going on here, and I think we have an official decision. But before I tell you that, I just want to tell you how tough it was for me to watch a lot of this footage. My heart goes out to all those people who lost property, and especially their loved ones, in this horrific event. Okay, so now let's see what we have here. And I'm quoting. The video of the tsunami recorded by Kenichi Murakami has been determined to be real. But the claim that his video captured an unidentified spirit of some sort is not true. What we are looking at is an unidentified vapor and nothing more. From the beginning of this examination, the problem has been the lifelike nature of the vapor when it rises towards the roof of the building. 
In this extra view of the building here, we can see the reason why the vapor would get hung up. From this angle, we can see that the roof sticks out beyond the building's walls. This overhang is the reason why the vapor slows and behaves oddly. Okay, well that's all the time I have for this video. I just want to send a big thanks to everybody who sent that video in. And I also want to send special thanks to all the A-Team members who helped nail this one down. I'm going to leave a link to all their YouTube channels in the description box below. And hey, remember, if you've got a picture or a piece of video and you're not quite sure whether it's real or not, send it over to Bill's channel at gmail.com and I'll take a look. See you next time. I know you are surround to me and you want me to leave this house but I'm not gonna leave this house. Hey, are you there to the storeroom? Hey, are you there? Oh my god, what was that? I just saw some smoke and there's no fire in my room. Hey, she's not here. She's not here anymore. Hello. Hey.